You are too dang big to go that slow. But I have a fix. Yeah. Let's see if we can't triple that speed. So before y'all turn off thinking, oh no, not another rock crawling video, I promise you this is not going to be another rock crawling video. I just got in this Hobby Wing uh, Axe Plus R3. This is the new series one. Uh, this is the 2000 KV version of it. And I'm going to put it in the Rolarlo MK07. This thing is only doing six miles per hour on its stock motor with the biggest pinion gear that you could possibly fit on it. And that is just not enough. Now this system can run up to 6S. I do not have a 6S battery that fits in this behemoth of a truck. As big as it is, you, you still are, are pretty limited to just how big of a, of a battery you could put in it. And um, even my 4S, it, uh, it sits a little bit too tall. Well, the 4S actually just fits and just squeezes in there, but none of my 6S's uh, will fit it. But uh, I'm not looking for 30 miles per hour out of this thing. I just would like it to at least get into the double digits. Late teens, early 20s would be great. So that's why I went with the 2000 KV version instead of the 1700. And I think it's going to be just about perfect on this rig. Uh, also going to slap on a couple more heavyweight mods that little thing is heavy and some scale mods and this is going to be a pseudo scale pseudo basher um it will still be a rock crawler because uh the the hobby wing axe has got the foc so you've got excellent low speed control and uh with the 2000 kv motor running on 4s it should uh should have some pretty exciting speed at long last this thing is big enough. It's built well enough to be able to handle that. I've seen seen a few guys like uh, Discipline and uh, a couple a couple other guys do 6S in these, and they are absolutely uh, insanely quick uh, for something like this. Uh, I'm not going to go that quite nuts, but uh, I do like speed. I like power, and this thing just does not have enough of either. Uh, this motor does do great. Um, but I think it can do quite a bit better uh, when you're doing below one mi mile per hour. I feel like it could have a little bit more modulation. And, uh, like I said, six miles per hour, is just nowhere near enough speed for me. So let's, uh, dive into it. So doing this mod does, uh, present one small challenge. If I want to run more than 3S, uh, I'm going to have to disconnect the uh, winch system on there because uh, 4S, I think, is going to be a little bit too much for the winch controller. So I might end up just switching it back over to a, uh, a uh, servo-style plug, uh, radio-style plug, so I can just run it off of the radio because I do have an extra channel on there. Um, Hopefully it doesn't brown out. I know this thing has got a lot more output and I am going to crank it up to the full 8.4 volts to try to maximize this servo and uh, hopefully give it a little bit more positive engagement with uh, the two-speed transfer case and the lockers. I do have them finally set up to where they do work every single time. They do sometimes have to move the vehicle uh, a few inches before they fully lock in so I'm hoping the extra voltage will will be a benefit to those two hopefully I don't blow them out but uh, let's uh let's open this thing up and see what it's all about so I've been wanting to add this on here for a little bit and uh, I finally got the hookup through my distributor uh, Riley's deals who I get the vast majority of my RC stuff from uh, he uh, he let me know that he could get me a great deal on one of these. So I said, heck yeah, go ahead and send it. 
As much as I really like my Larlo, I would like it if it was just a little bit faster. And the other thing I really like about this Hobby Wing setup is the fact that you can uh, Bluetooth program it. So that should make for, uh, for some easy adjustments, I hope. I've never uh, never used the Hobby Wing Bluetooth app, but uh, from what I have seen online, it is actually pretty dang easy to use. That way you can dial in stuff like your drag brake and how much drag brake you, it uses and how fast it ramps it in. Uh, you can change the timing on the motor. Uh, all kind of your BEC output, so you got lots of control. And ooh, look at that! Motor. That is a nice little beast of a motor. I think it's a, a 550 can, if memory serves. Um, and a lot of people like to use the 1700 version. I don't know that I've seen anybody use the 2000 kV version, so I figured. I may as well try it since I'm such a fiend for speed and look at that cute little speed controller it's stickers yay we like stickers I also like the fact that it's got a smart cooling fan so the fan isn't running at flank speed all the time it just comes on as needed and realistically in this rig on 3s and Heck, maybe even for us. I, I bet I hardly ever hear that fan turn on. So I will have to bust out the trusty old solder iron and uh, solder these leads into place. I might have to... Actually, I probably don't even have to shorten them up. I bet they fit in there just fine. So let's get the rig back up here and get working on it. So rather than making this video real long and showing you the step-by-step -step to swap all this stuff out, there, there's been uh, at least three other videos out there of uh, doing a similar conversion to these. And in my other videos, you've seen what it takes to, to pull out this motor. I found the easiest way is to remove the battery tray and then you can get access to these two screws. Um, I used blue Loctite and not a whole lot of it last time I put this together, so I don't have to worry about heating them up to get the screws out. I hope. I already pulled out the top one. I haven't pulled out the bottom one yet. So I'm just going to hurry up and swap out the speed controller in the motor. That way we can get straight into some speed testing and then do some uh, mild bashing with it. Do some donuts, do some jumps, and see how it does. So I'm gonna heat up the soldering iron and dig in there and I will be right back with y'all. Well, crud, we've reached a small impasse. My little rinky dink uh, soldering pencil goes up to 480 degrees, but it cannot maintain the 480 degrees. So I cannot uh, get, a, get the bead even started with the solder. So I am going to have to order a uh, soldering gun and go back at it but uh, the motor is in it's meshed up nice and just right and not too loose not too tight uh, so I guess I can put the covers and stuff back on but yeah I'm gonna have to get a soldering gun a nice high power one so I can solder that properly so let me be back in a couple days here well that was a couple days for me and just a couple seconds for you all and I did switch over to my other camera. I didn't realize my GoPros are so grainy inside. I guess maybe I just don't have enough light in here. I guess that's... Need to get some more lights. But this... This should get it done. This is a 200 watt. And it is a heavy, heavy soldering gun. So I'm going to get to soldering these guys. And get the wires in and tape it in place. And I'll swap out this uh, bumper mount here real quick. And then we'll move on to the next thing. And then hopefully be able to take this thing out for a speed run. And do some off-road bashing. Maybe even a little bit of jumping. Let me heat this stuff up. And now we are all wired up. Got the wires soldered. Please ignore my ugly solder connections. Uh, I'm just going to leave the winch system unplugged for now. 
I am only running the 3S right now, and I have got the 4S on the charger. I'm watching Kevin Talbot being silly, but uh, this thing is all wired up, ready to go, and what I did uh, is I used the white lead from the from the speed controller to my spare channel, which is channel D on this remote. So that allows me to turn on and off the drag brake. So when I want to do a speed run, I can turn it off. And when I'm off-roading, I can turn it back on. So that's off, and then that's on. But uh, let me see here. Get this closed. Turn off. Or turn on the lights, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but boy, the control is just awesome. It is, it can go so slow. And I will, uh, I'll put my settings that I used uh, right around here somewhere. Um, as you can see, I, I bumped the BEC all the way up to its highest setting. Left everything else pretty much the same. Drag brake, uh, brake rate and all that. I, I left that as they were stock. But uh, everything else seems to be working great. And let's see, do I have the, Yeah, I've got the drag brake off right now. So if I turn it on. Well, maybe I do have it off. Throw this thing on the ground. And try that again. Okay, yeah, so drag brake on, drag brake off. So brake lights still work, reverse lights still work. Uh, what am I in? Oh, it's got some power now. <laughs> okay, don't don't do that. <laughs> so now I just got to finish putting on all the scale accessories. And then we get to go take it out for a speed run. I also already have installed the front uh, bumper mount weight. So this thing is pretty dang heavy. So let me get the rest of this stuff out there and then we'll go take it out for a rip. Yeah! Well, crap. <laughs> so, stupid me. I didn't realize I was in front wheel drive mode and I had the drag brake on, so I uh, goosed it outside and realized it was front wheel drive and immediately let off the throttle and this thing, it just did an endo and then blew the front diff. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> if you're doing a speed run, do not have the drag brake on and uh, it also would help if you don't have it in front wheel drive only. So, I got that swapped out. Now let's go try again. Woohoo! And we are back to finally try to see what kind of speed this thing can get. Remember to charge the uh, GPS, so we'll run that. It is a windless day. Fortunately, it's only in the 90s, so it's not too miserably hot. But let's see what kind of speed... Okay, he's reading. Let's see what kind of speed we can get. And this time I made sure I don't have the drag brake on and I have it in all wheel drive. So this is on the, uh, the 3S battery. Let's see what it can do. <laughs> well, not, not a whole lot faster, but uh, I think maybe in the double digits at least, maybe 11 or 12 miles per hour. Let's see, I am, I think I'm in, yeah, yeah, that was high speed, okay, let's uh, see what it did. <laughs> 11 miles per hour. Well, 
that's uh, over double the stock speed, not quite double the speed that it got with uh, with a bit bigger pinion. Let's try one more. Now let's try it in just rear wheel drive. See how it does in rear wheel. See if there's any change. I doubt there's gonna be any change. Definitely torquey. <laughs> See it pop that front wheel off the ground. <laughs> yep, no speed demon. <laughs> that body, I'm gonna have to put some thicker weight oil in those shocks. That front wheel look like it's leaning out. And still 11 miles per hour. All right, so not a whole lot, for, I mean double, but not what I was hoping. I was hoping to at least be in the teens. I guess what we need to do now is throw in that. See what happens. All right, round number two. This is with the uh, 4S battery in there. Took out the 3S. And we are reading. Let's see what it does now. Put it back in the four wheel. Oh, that woke it up a little bit. I bet that's probably 15. Let's see. What? I swear that tire looks like it's angled out. Let's see what that did. 17. You know what? I'm happy with that. I'll, I'll, I like 17. So if we picked up six miles per hour with one more cell, heck, it'll, it'll probably be in mid 20s with a 6S on it. Look at that nice new little rock area dropped off over there. Let's go beat on it a little bit. Oh, this is some rough terrain. Bet I end up breaking something. Let's do a little bit of a bash. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> I need to lock up the diff, see if it'll accelerate a little bit more. <laughs> it does pretty good against all this stuff. <laughs> this is pretty fun. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. This little guy is, well, I guess he's a big guy, but he is so much fun. He's so capable. <laughs> All right, that little stick is bothering me. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's, yikes. That's barbed wire. Oh, and I wrapped it up in the axle pretty badly. Oh, man. 
Oh, I'm glad I didn't shred the tire. Yikes. Oh, I scratched the heck out of the body. Man. That wrapped up in there hardcore. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, man. All right, that's some power. Uh, might have damaged my rear locker. Yeek. I'm glad I pulled it over to check that out. <laughs> Damn it, losing my hat. Let me get this hat on here. Poor truck. <laughs> I'm losing my hat again. All right, let's give that another go. <laughs> I hear that cooling fan on the mo on the ESC now. <laughs> and this is on the just the 3S battery. <laughs> I like it. Woohoo! Boy, this little guy takes a bit of a beating. <laughs> he's not for this kind of stuff, but he's doing it. I know I'm going to end up breaking something. I don't know if I'm going to break the steering servo or <laughs> shear a bolt on a wheel or what. <laughs> Boy, it is just taking it. Looks like they're going to put some more houses and roads up here. So for the meantime, it'll be a playground for me. This, this just made this thing a whole lot more fun. Let's try it in rear wheel drive. <laughs> a lot of spinning. Let's go back in the four wheel. beast. Let's try it the other way. Woohoo! <laughs> it loves it. What an awesome little rig. Big rig. Medium sized rig. I don't know. <laughs> Big for an RC but small for real life. Uh oh. I just throw my front license plate. Sure did. Threw the plate and the bracket. Cause I'll uh, figure out a better way to attach that bracket. Oh, I like it though. 
that's all we break is a license plate bracket. That'll be super awesome. Because <laughs> I am being mean to this thing. <laughs> this is not meant to drive like this, but <laughs> it sure is fun. <laughs> it bounces so well, the suspension really takes it. Ah, man, I am, I am enjoying that. This thing is epic, epically good. That axe motor is just so good in here. Ooh, I hear that cooling fan going. Let's see just how hot we got. Oh, it's actually, that's not, not bad at all. All right. I like it. Get that uh, body pin back in place. Yeah. This changed this rig to be even better than it was. It was already a pretty dang good rig. Arlo. <laughs> it gets pretty far out there. Uh-oh. Something just broke. Oh, I thought something broke. I saw something dangling down there. Am I losing my mind? Well, oh. oh, looks like we lost the front drive shaft. Looks like the screw came out. Well, that's hot. Well, heck, I guess that's going to be the end of this video take it home and see exactly what I broke and we'll try it again. This is Dude RC. Y'all have a good one.